The reaction setup wizard allows you to easily create, enable, setup, and manage various reactions to trigger alerts as needed. Using the reaction engine, you can also size pop-up windows, change pop-up locations, and designate which alerts will appear in which order. We can locate the reaction wizard by going to the magic wand with the three stars at the top, or by going to tools and reaction wizard setup. In the reaction engine, we can see several predefined reactions that we can manipulate and change, or we can create new. Under vehicle activity, and going to the bottom, select one or more events, we can see this brings up a list of vehicle events that can be tracked with pop-ups. Ignition on and off, along with the in-service and out-of-service, may be important for someone monitoring payroll. Also, for safety, speeding started and speeding stopped events can be pop-ups alerting someone of a vehicle that is speeding. If we select the ready mix statuses, we can see the begin load all the way through to the end pour and the arrive and depart plant. These events can be statused if a person dispatcher is looking for one individual event to occur. This is the same with aggregate statuses, but they also include the PTO events. Messages and alerts for payroll can be driver log on and driver log off events can be monitored with pop-ups. The driver initiated message urgent, warning, and informational can be manipulated and can be displayed down here in your alerts section. Please contact customer support as they need to change the priority of the message. It is important to note discharge while moving, drum fast while moving, and water on while moving are only available for cross checks at this time. We'll create a ready mix status event and we'll select the events of begin pour and load, depart home, and arrive home. We can see it's building our alert down at the bottom by clicking next we can select which vehicles to see these events for. In particular, we want to see it for all vehicles, but you can do it by suborg or vehicle groups or by individual vehicles. Click Next, and we can choose to have a sound played, display a message box, or add it to the alert list. We're going to do a display message box. Down here, we can select settings and change the time that the box displays. It defaults for five seconds. What we want to do is select bring to front. That way if we're opening another application like an internet browser, those messages will be displayed over that. We select next and we can rename this to ready mix or whatever name you choose. Please make sure that turn on this sec reaction is selected. Once we click finish and OK, the messages will start statusing down in our lower right hand corner where we've predefined where the message box will appear. If you want to move the message box, you just need to click and drag it and the message box will be moved. It's showing the truck number and the status event that we've selected.